Hello and welcome back and today I want to carry on talking about the mobile applications that are available for network attached storage. I talked about these for a while and I did a whole series of videos on a bunch of these applications I think early last year but I do think it's worth revisiting this subject every now and then because there are lots of cool apps being added all the time and improvements over the existing ones. Today I want to look at the Acer Store series of applications again and this kickstart a series of videos that I'm doing right now on each of the key applications for that platform. Today we're going to be looking at the AI Master application which is available for um, Android but there are iOS versions as well. We can see here it's loaded me straight into the Locker Store NAS that we've got running. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly sign out of this system just to show you guys exactly what it would look like. So when you open up the application, as you can see here on screen, and I'm screen recording today on a Google Pixel XL, uh, Google Pixel 2 XL, um, you can find the NAS on your local area network by clicking up there. You can search for more NASs if you've got them. It's found the locker store here that I've got ready. You can do a bunch of things with that NAS logging into it, but just going back into the logout screen there, you can see that you can really play with a number of the settings, whether you're finding the device there on your local IP, which is what I've done, or if you've set up internet level access, you can find it with the cloud ID that you've set up with your Acer Store NAS on day one, and then put in the login credentials, as you can see here, the login account name and the password, and you can add descriptions as well. So in the case of this, I'm going to put this as the Locker Store 4 in the description, and again, you can log straight in. There's little helps and guides as well. You can contact directly with the brand themselves. But for now, let's log into that NAS. Now, I am accessing this NAS over the uh, the network. So performance may differ ever so slightly compared with internet level access. But it will be very, very minimal because this application is more of a system overview app. I definitely recommend it. And it's one I've been using for pretty much all of the Asus Store videos that I've been running over the last few months when I've been doing the setup because Locker Store does have a few features in it that aren't present in some of the other platforms. For a start, the idea that you can set the device up without even a mobile phone, a desktop system or anything. It's one of the only platforms I've used so far that can be set up using the LCD platform, um, the LCD panel on the front of the system. You can get the entire RAID, the volume and the storage pool set up on the device without any kind of visual interface device or client. So this application is one that I used afterwards in my setup videos to basically oversee the device without having to go into anything too OTT, like a desktop platform and using a browser. But this app does come with a whole bunch of control features. Now, before we go into any of those icons, you can see there on the side of the system, you can manage some of the applications you've got there, some of the login credentials that you can change on the fly. You can also create multiple individual logins on the side there. We can also go to the other side where there are lots of little options there that relate directly to the NAS. So if the NAS is in your local area environment and you've got multiple Acer stores, you can hear that buzzing on the background there. That's coming from the NAS in my operational environment. I've got multiple NASs here, and it's nice to know that we can locate that individual uh, device with just the app. You've got night mode that will switch off the LED indicators on the NAS. I know you can't see that there. On top of that, you can sleep the NAS if you choose, restart the NAS, shut down the NAS, check if there's any updates for Acer Store's ADM platform that you can then action with the mobile app. You can register, if you so choose, to... Um, sync the device with an Acer Store online account and create that online access. On top of that, you can check the notifications if there's been any issues with regards to applications, synchronized jobs that may have failed due to one of the devices in the network environment not um, appearing and more. Find out more information directly about the device there in the bottom and you can personalize the desktop there by adding different images in the background if you so choose and more so we can select a photo there so I'm just going to arbitrarily select a photo there and it changes that background although let's face it that is awful there in the background so let's select a more neutral image there for the background for us to work with go for something there we've got all kinds of memes running in the background I'm just going to select that old photo there and again lots of different um, we can reset to default if you so choose so 
Once again, we can get system information there at the top left, giving us real-time information about our device, and some of these can be delved into a little bit deeper. You can see how long this device has been up for since I restarted it six days ago with an update. We get real-time information about the CPU, the memory, the model ID. We go into the temperature settings there. We can find out more information about the individual disks and what kind of operational environment they're in. On top of that, we can go down to the bottom to the network environment, and that will tell us a lot more about the network IPs of the connected LAN ports, what ports are connected, what their protocols are, and if we want to change them. And again, lots of real-time information there, very, very responsive, readily available. If you want to find out more information about the general activity of the device, as you can see here, we can find out more information about the CPUs. It's a quad-core Celeron inside this system and the memory being utilized. Right now, I'm running a small VM there in the background and I'm running some stuff to do with Plex Media Server, which is why that memory is creeping up. And it's a four gig memory device and we are using two gig of memory. You can find out more network activity about upload and download if you're want to see how much exactly is being utilized by the device and find out more information about the storage you've got inside. In this case, I've got three drives in a RAID 5 environment, I believe, and it tells you lots of information about the kinds of storage inside. Finally, we have got the activity monitor that's telling us exactly what the system's doing. And as you can see there on the right hand side of the screen, you can see where a lot of that um, memory and resources are being consumed there. So coming out of the activity monitor, we've got the log there that's telling us lots of information about the synchronized jobs we're behaving, um, actioning there in the background, and lots of stuff to do with server and more. File access and connection logs are all maintained as well. And all of this can be accessed via the network and the internet. Online users here, if you would like to um, enable a network defender can be done there. But moreover, this is when you create multiple accounts that you can either make some of them network or internet accessible via the internal ADM interface or change users on the fly if you so choose with their login information and whether you want them to be blocked moving forward. You can even see erroneous login attempts there as well. Now, one touch backup, as you can probably imagine, is when you can action backup operations between connected USB devices uh, on that device, on the Acer Store in this case, and you can just physically action them. So if you have multiple USBs acting as a tier of backup on your NAS, a click of that button there in the middle will action that backup. You can also change the protocol of that backup very, very easily by changing the settings there in the background. You can eject it using that button on the bottom left, and there's loads of options readily available there. Backup and Restore allows us to be able to see if we have any kind of backup routine in place whether it be via cloud, whether it be external backup, internal backup, FTP or remote sync, can all be edited or triggered from this menu if you have backup routines in place. Then in the services list, if you have different um, service levels and protocol between shared storage, mapped network drives, localized storage and internet iSCSI and remote target LUNs, they will all be listed here, which allows you to activate or deactivate them as needed. And again, if you are using this as a business server, which I know a number of you are, you may take advantage of a number of these systems and it allows your local IT guy to be able to action a lot of instructions to the NAS remotely very quickly indeed. Now access control on the bottom right is when you can start creating new users or editing existing users and just how many privileges they have to different applications and the privileges they have to different folders and more. You can create a new user very, very easily. We create a user there. We've given them an account. We can go in there and there we go. We can say, are they a guest or an admin? And you can create new groups within the NAS very, very easily. So we can give them access to different folders or we can go through them and say they do have read write access to public. Alternatively, some folders we can say they can read but not access and edit and other ones we can deny them access if we so choose. It's that straightforward to create admin access and individual localized access to the NAS from these users. The app center allows us remotely, and I'm quite impressed by this, that this uh, management application allows us to install 
applications on this system. We can look at new apps, we can look at the existing apps that are installed, and it allows you to maintain this NAS and upgrade and configure this NAS with just a mobile app in a way that I've not really seen from other NAS brands. And it's one of the main reasons I really like the um, AI Master application from Acer Store, because I think it brings a different level of control uh, to the system via this app that's not present in the other brands. The other brands bring most of these features in their own individual ways, but not a lot of them give the app um, configuration and control that you see here. As you can see, we can even action updates remotely to individual applications. Now, on the right hand side of the screen, if you do have multiple apps already installed on your iOS or Android device, they will appear here so you can trigger them all directly within the management application. These are the ones that we've installed. AI data for uh, file management, AI remote to turn a, your mobile device into a remote control for the HDMI output, AI secure for surveillance, AI music for music obviously, AI photo and AI videos. So again, it's nice to see this level of clear, easy control on the Acer Store platform here from this mobile app. And we'll be looking at the rest of these mobile apps soon and of course comparing them later down the line with other NAS brands, but this is quite a good tool and one that I would recommend. Do stay tuned for the rest of my application videos coming very, very soon. And if you want to learn more, do subscribe. Click like if you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.